And welcome once again to Covenant Child. It's that time of the week where we sit around the Word of God and get some encouragement and even challenged by the Word of God. I trust that you're having a good week. It's hard to believe that we are almost in the middle of the year. The month of May is basically gone and we are almost in June. And half of 2021 has gone by. But we thank God for His faithfulness that He is carrying us through all of this time. I want to challenge us and encourage us out of the Word of God as we read out of Matthew. Matthew chapter 12, verse 46 to 50. Very interesting portion of scripture. It says, while Jesus was still talking to the crowd, his mother and brothers stood outside, wanting to speak to him. Somebody told him, your mother and brothers are standing outside, wanting to speak to you. He replied to him, who is my mother and who are my brothers? Pointing to his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. Forever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Jesus always sought to do the Father's will. That was his passion. That was his driving force. That was his mission. He knew why he was here. He was here to fulfill the Father's will. And family is important. Family is and was started and was God's will from the word go. And that's why we see even the enemy attacks family so much because it is instituted and planted here by God. However, Jesus sees family quite different. And he says, those who do the will of my father, they are the ones who, who are my family. The family has to do what the father wants. We cannot say that we are part of the family of God and then we don't do what the family wants. God's family is bound through Jesus' blood covenant. It is the covenant that God instituted and sealed with us through Jesus' blood. It is that covenant that brings us into family. And therefore, even though we might not share the same genetic material, we are still family through the covenant and when we do what God wants us to do. In Luke 2 verse 49, we read as well, when Jesus was still a young boy and Mary and Joseph were looking for him, they found him in the temple. We know that story. And when they tried to chastise him, his words to them was, I'm about my father's business. I'm in my father's house. That's where I belong. For him, that was much more important, even than the family. And so I know that some of us, we love our families, and family is important, as I said. But we need to see in the new covenant that family is, has a different picture. God puts us in a family that is not through genetics or blood or anything. It is the blood of Jesus, yes, that makes us family, that draws us family. And when we do the will of God, that is what unites us and makes us family. So I want to encourage us that Jesus says, those who do my will, those who do the will of the Father, who are obedient to him, that is my family. He carries on in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. He says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons, in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. 
What a challenging word. That he says, even if we do all these other things, prophesy and prophesying is important. I believe it's still applicable today. Doing miracles. All of these things. But Jesus says, if you don't do the will of the Father, then I will not know you. Doing what God wants is more important. If we love God, then we will do his will. And sometimes we try to rationalize and we try to argue away what God says in his word. But that is really what God wants us to do, is to do his will, even without questioning. His will is what he wants done. Even when he taught his disciples to pray the the one we call these days the Lord's Prayer or the Our Father starts off by saying, Your will be done, your kingdom come on earth. And that should be our motivation is to see and to do the will of God. How do we know God's will? Many would ask. Romans 12, verse 1 to 2, a very well known portion of scripture says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, Paul is writing, in view of God's mercy to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing and perfect will. It is by submitting to God and allowing our minds to be renewed that we are able to understand God's will. A mind that is filled with old things will not be able to understand and discern what the will of God is. So we need to allow the Holy Spirit and we need to allow the Word of God to renew our mind. To shape our minds so that we are able to discern what is the will of God. When we read God's word, his will is in the, in the word. There are many commands and instructions in the word of God which are quite plain for us to know. He wants us to obey. We have to repent. We have to forgive. We have to uh, walk in his way we have to evangelize we have to give to the poor we have to give to his work those are all a part of his world and we mustn't rationalize try to work his his word away but it doesn't apply to me or it's not relevant do god's will and you will be the brother and the sister of jesus you will be the in the family of god Live a holy life. Pray. That's the will of God. Witness. Give. It's all part of the will of God. Do His will. Be about His business. Every one of us is instructed to do these things. Seek to do His will and not our own will. The wonderful thing is that God has given us our own will. And so many of us, we are stubborn. We think because we are educated. There was a speaker I know when I was a child that used to say, this is the idiot box. We think we're so clever. We know how to do things. We think we know better than God. But the word of God and his will, when we do his will, we are the brothers and the sisters of Jesus. We are the family of God. That's what makes us family, is when we do the will of God. Let us seek to do his will. And you know, there are many things that are not necessarily sin. Not necessarily bad even in this world to do. 
but they not maybe the will of God for your life. God wants you to do his will. I challenge you as we go and as we still face the rest of this year, determine to do the will of God. So that when you meet him one day face to face, he will say, well done. You have done what I've told you to do. Because that's all that God expects of us, is to do what he wants us to do. Let's be obedient. Let's trust his word. And do the will of the Father. And not our own will. God bless you. And until we meet next week again, Shalom.